So how do we walk into our inheritance? We walk in the name of the Lord. Micah chapter 4 verse 5. For all people walk each in the name of his God. But we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. As we walk into our inheritance in life, we have to walk in the name of the Lord. The people of this world seek to dominate the world in the name of their God. They will consult all kinds of forces and occults and all kinds of mediums and all kinds of spiritual uh, powers which are not of God. But when we go into battle, when we go to possess what God has given to us, we don't imitate what they are doing. We have a superior name we wore in, and that is the name of of the Lord. And so believers possess their inheritance by the name of the Lord. And don't ever be overwhelmed by what people are doing. Sometimes you hear that somebody you are in competition with is made a sacrifice to a deity or to an occultic spirit and is doing all kinds of things. Then you get panicky and feel you should also do something extraordinary. The name of the Lord is your strong tower. We take our inheritance by walking in the name of the Lord. And which Lord is the God of the Bible? The God who revealed himself to Abraham. His name means the self-existing one. The one who exists all by himself and is sustained by himself. We go into battle in his name and we win in his name. So how do we walk in the name of the Lord? First, we accept him as enough. The name of the Lord is sufficient, efficient, complete. We don't need to add to the name of the Lord. You don't need any other force and any other, other dramatic action to add to the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is enough. He is all that we need. He is complete and total. And we cannot say that he is our God uh, and at the same time try to do something else by the side. And I hope that we are not mixing up our spiritual life with astrology, with palm reading, consulting the spirits of the dead, or some other practice and hoping that if we put all of that together, somehow it will work. If you mix up the spirit, you will begin to have all kinds of spiritual problems. The name of the Lord is enough. Don't add anything to the name of the Lord. You must trust his ways. Many times God will say to people uh, to follow him and trust him. But, you know, I've heard people say, you know, God is slow. Uh, if you want quick results, you have to do it some other way. If you want to trust the name of the Lord, Jehovah, then you have to trust his ways. And if he tells you to be patient, you have to be patient. If he tells you not to be angry, don't be angry. He, if he tells you vengeance is his and don't go and repay, don't go and repay. Trust in the ways of of the Lord, if we are walking in his name. And then we have to declare his name in our battles. David faced Goliath by declaring the name of the Lord. He says, Goliath, you come to me in the name of your God, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God Jehovah. Declare his name in your battles. Declare his name over your battles and you will see his victory. So trust him. He's enough. He's complete. You don't need anything else. The name of the Lord will give you the victory. Trust him. Are you ready to do that? Let's pray together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are more than enough for me. I trust your ways. I declare your name over every battle I am faced with. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, my friends, I'll be with you again. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.